Hello everyone, my name is Felicia Gariello and I am the TestBeds Program Coordinator. In today's presentation, I'd like to give you an overview of the Weather Program Office's TestBeds Program and its role in the support of tropical, severe weather, and extreme precipitation research. I am part of a two-person team managing this program. Working alongside me is Jordan Dale, the TestBeds Program Manager. Together, we work to competitively fund NOAA laboratories, academic partners, and commercial industry through grants and cooperative agreements. The projects we fund test and demonstrate new cutting-edge forecast technologies in the NOAA weather testbeds to accelerate its transition to the National Weather Service forecast operations. In other words, Jordan and I work to fund projects that support the mission of WPO and the weather testbeds and will enhance the accuracy of weather forecasts. So what exactly are testbeds? Testbeds are collaborative spaces where forecasters and weather researchers work alongside each other to integrate solutions into operational weather forecasts. Our program funds projects to test and demonstrate new forecast technologies, such as models, forecast techniques, data, and so on in these NOAA weather testbeds. The testbeds program works with three specific testbeds. The Hazardous Weather Testbed, located within the National Severe Storms Laboratory in Norman, Oklahoma. The Hydrometeorology Testbed, located within the Weather Prediction Center in College Park, Maryland. And the Hurricane and Ocean Testbed, formerly known as the Joint Hurricane Testbed, located within the National Hurricane Center in Miami, Florida. Each testbed has their own priorities and missions. The Hazardous Weather Testbed accelerates the transition of new meteorological insights and technologies into advances in severe weather forecasting and warning. The hydrometeorology testbed conducts research on precipitation and weather conditions that can lead to flooding and fosters transition of scientific advances and new tools into forecasting operations. And the hurricane and ocean testbed transfers more rapidly and smoothly new technology, research results, and observational advances into improved tropical cyclone analysis and prediction and operational centers. Let's dive a little deeper into how the test beds support the projects we fund. Most of the projects we fund in collaboration with the Hazardous Weather Testbed will be tested during their annual spring forecast experiment. The spring forecast experiments take place at the height of the spring severe weather season. This gives researchers and National Weather Service forecasters the unique opportunity to work side by side to evaluate emerging research concepts and tools and participate in experimental forecasts and warning generation exercises in real time. Forecasters have direct access to the latest research developments and scientists gain the knowledge to formulate research strategies with practical benefits. This collaborative approach ensures an effective two-way path between research and operations, which ultimately improves National Weather Service forecasts and warnings. The hydrometeorology test beds has two yearly experiments that offer great opportunities for our project's principal investigators. In an effort to support improvements in winter weather forecasts, the HMT at WPC began hosting an annual winter weather experiment in 2011. The winter weather experiment provides an immersive collaborative research to operations experience, bringing together members of the forecasting, research, and academic communities to evaluate new winter weather forecasting tools and discuss winter weather forecast challenges. The flash flood and intense rainfall experiment is a catalyst for the conversations and collaboration among the various areas of expertise in the field, allowing for unique interactions between the different meteorology and hydrology fields that normally would not have the opportunity to interact. Let's talk a little more about how these projects get funded. The TestBeds program receives its funding from the U.S. Weather Research Program budget. From this budget, TestBeds typically receive around $3 million in funding a year. These funds go towards research through a competitive project selection, as well as towards TestBed infrastructure costs, such as support contractors, hardware, software, and management. In 2019, we were able to fund 11 projects among the three TestBeds three in both hydrometeorology testbed and hurricane and ocean testbed, and five in the hazardous weather testbed. This, however, led to an imbalance in funds between the three testbeds, with hazardous weather testbed receiving a larger amount than the hydrometeorology testbed and hurricane and ocean testbed. 
In 2022, we focused on a better balance between the test beds, funding three projects in each hazardous weather test bed and hydrometeorology test bed, and four in the hurricane and ocean test bed, allowing for a more even spread of funds. To end this presentation, we would like to showcase two of our 2019 projects. The first is advancing probabilistic prediction of high impact winter storms through ensemble NWP and post-processing, a project led by James Steenberg at the University of Utah and Justin Minder at the University of Albany. This project addresses a large problem in winter weather prediction, the challenge to accurately predict snowfall accumulation, mainly due to the large amount of variables that affect the forecast, one of which is the ratio of snow to rain used in weather models. Winter weather forecast accuracy is very important, as it can affect driving conditions, air travel, power, and commerce. Minder and Steenberg proposed the development of a new snow-to-liquid ratio algorithm to improve snow forecast derived from numerical modeling systems. Their algorithms were tested and evaluated in real time by participating forecasters at the 2021 HMT Winter Weather Experiment. These tests allowed the PIs to learn that their algorithms performed well over the Western continental United States, but had issues east of the Rocky Mountains. Now the PIs are able to refocus their efforts on improving the algorithms over the problematic area. The second project we would like to highlight is transitioning ensemble-based TC track and intensity sensitivity to operations, led by Ryan Torn at the University of Albany SUNY. This project focuses on tropical cyclone forecasts and the importance of accurate and abundant observations. Tropical cyclone forecasts rely heavily on incoming observational data, which can be limited because collecting observations can be cost prohibitive as they are mostly over the ocean. It is important to be able to identify what observations are most useful and where they need to be gathered to best aid in the forecast. TORM proposes to develop an ensemble-based sensitivity product to identify potential high impact observation locations for a given forecast outcome or metric. TORN has been working with the National Hurricane Center to generate sensitivity products for real-time storm analysis. The TestBeds program is an integral part of WPL and improving forecasts throughout the National Weather Service. We fund projects that align with our priorities as well as the priorities of three test beds. These projects focus on developing new forecast technologies such as models, forecast techniques, data, and so on, and are tested in real time in the test beds, which allows for forecaster feedback, which will improve the outcome of the project and its probability of transitioning to the National Weather Service operations. Thank you for taking the time to learn about WPO's test beds program. We hope this presentation was informative and we look forward to answering any questions you may have in the live Q&A. Thank you.